Hey guys, I was here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a video that I've actually wanted to make for, well, actually a few weeks. Even though it's a new champion, you may be like, wait, a few weeks? I've played this champion a few times on test servers. Uh, you'll notice I have not played this champion since she's come to live, even though I like her kit. Because to me, this champion was insanely weak. And it, to be honest, it was uh, on, on PBE, Riot did buff her a couple times because her numbers were a bit too low. And, I, you know, I don't really mind that too much. Like, I'd rather Riot be conservative in terms of, you know, how strong the champion is rather than just making overpowered straight away. But, so since she's come to live servers, she has also had a hot fix or a hot buff, whatever you want to call it. She's had a bit of a buff. And now, the opinion of better players, and much better players than me, are this champion might be overpowered, <laughs> which is hilarious. So what we're doing is we're watching a guy called Broly, Dragon Ball reference I presume. He's a Grandmaster player, and he has played 20 plus games of the champion already, and is pretty good at the champion. Is one of the best ranked players now on the champion, and we're going to see how it goes. They're against a Yorick. Now, Yorick, obviously, last patch was overpowered, has been toned down, but to a point that Yorick is still strong, by the way, and that, that's what we actually needed. So Yorick is a, still a, quite a lane-dominant champion. And the thing with Gwen, even when she was at her weakest on PBE, everybody always said she does actually scale quite well. Uh, she's a hyper-scaling champion. So let's see how it goes. So like that, that's, that is right there, I'll say, is more damage than she did before. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is a Grandmaster level game. You can see she's going fairly aggressive in the early game, which is what I, unfortunately, myself couldn't do when I've played this champion so far. So maybe with the hot fixes that she's had is giving her a little bit more of that lane strength that I 100% think she needed. Um, so she is hit level two, going to go for the all-in, which, you know, is a standard top lane thing to do. And Yorick doesn't die, but is now nearly dead. So already having that kind of lane dominance, lane pressure, which is surprising for me personally to see. But as I mentioned, I want this champion to do well. I actually like her kit. Um, I think she looks cool. And I think, you know, people have said it quite often. Do new champions sometimes fit the theme of League of Legends? I actually think she fits the theme of League quite well. And she is, you know, being, has to be a bit careful here. Um, you know, she is taking a bit of return damage. But what is good so far is that she started Doran's Ring to health potions. Yorick started corrupting. All three corrupting potions of Yorick, you'll notice on the items, all three are gone. He has gone through all three. Uh, Gwen, however, is, you know, taking a bit of damage. She's tanking minion damage in Yorick's W, so she has to be careful. But now she's finally built or burnt through, nearly gets the kill. Burnt through her two potions as well. But she is forcing Yorick to early back. But unfortunately, the Diana is looking for a gank. So this is, un you know, most likely a dead Gwen. But let's see what she can do. So she's standing in a W, which obviously gives her increased resistances. Using an E, then flash. Diana probably will flash. I would be surprised. And whoa, she doesn't. So Diana concedes she doesn't get the kill. Zack is in the area and is going to go for a bit of a fight. Diana has to then flash away. And overall, good, good survival by Gwen. I was a bit surprised, you know, that yes, Yorick was low health, but he could have done something to the Gwen maybe, or made the Gwen commit to the Yorick, and then he could have flashed to bait it a bit more. So I'm a bit surprised that he didn't, you know, go for that at all. Gwen goes back though, uh, gets herself an Amp Tome and one health potion. So you can see Yorick's building his own confidence now, and already, you know, is Gwen going to now start to struggle? You have to also remember a big part. And, you know, look at this trade. This is not going very good for Gwen. Yorick's going to go aggressive. Remember, Gwen has no flash. I'd be surprised if she survives. Oh, my God. The damage increased from Gwen, though. And now Yorick is on the back foot. Yorick is dead. There we go. Holy moly. So that's the point of Gwen. Her ramp up damage, like, as combat goes. And then with also the Conqueror, she'll get the healing as combat goes on. That's what Gwen's about. She doesn't do burst. She, you, she needs a few seconds of combat to kind of start ramping up. And that's what the champion does. So that it's why, you know, I did mention on PBE when I tested, she is not exactly what League of Legends is what right, like right now. And that is going to take some time to adjust. League of Legends could be renamed League of Burst nowadays. Everything's about burst. Gwen doesn't really do burst. She is a sustain damage duelist. There's not many of them left in League. A lot of the duelist champions have actually become burst champions. Like Aurelia does burst now. Fiora actually does decent burst. And I'm probably, again, Gwen's most like comparable champion is probably Fiora. But 
it's still like Gwen, I'd say, does less burst than Fiora. Um, but anyway, a lot of minions. So using a W to avoid the E from the Yorick, which is good. Um, and now he's just going to kind of free farm. So she's a little bit ahead of Yorick already in farm. And with all this minion, she's going to be at least a wave ahead. Um, and I will say, I really like how auto attack feels. That is one big bonus. I, I, I've always liked like how she feels with the autos. But so far, so good for this Gwen. Um, so it does show that this champion is definitely okay. <laughs> we could say that. Like, is she overpowered? Well, that's what people are saying. Like, people are saying the hot fix or hot buff, whatever you want to call it, may have made the champion OP and expect her, you know, with people gaining knowledge and everything on the champion, expect her to get nerfed. Because uh, that was the point I was going to make earlier. How the Yorick hasn't played this matchup too well. You have to also remember, when a new champion is new, it's not just new for the person playing it, it's new for everybody. So this Yorick, it could be his first time ever playing against a Gwen. You never know. And obviously, the higher rating you go, people like this Broly guy, he's Grandmaster, he's going to pick up champions very fast. So he, he probably is pretty good at Gwen mechanically. It's then the knowledge-based stuff that you need to then know, the scaling, your power spikes, etc. But this Yorick, he doesn't probably know the power spikes of Gwen. He doesn't know the damage output that she can do. So that is where sometimes new champions can also gain advantages um, with you know the, the lack of knowledge of the enemy team so you can see the yorick is still looking every now and then to be a bit aggressive even though he was a level down but the gwen has the e um dash which you know is kind of a natural counter oh she's used the ultimate ultimate double ultimate zach coming for a gank and he ends up dead to be honest i think most of us would agree even without zach there i think yorick was dead um the i think he got caught out of like oh god she's going all in now and she already got the first ulti off and you know nailed it then had the second ulti and then was going for the third but before the third one hit he died so i actually think yorick probably was dead in the 1v1 there but obviously you could argue gwen went for that play because she saw zach was around so obviously there is that point too so item build for gwen she has got a leeching seer and blasting one so is this rift maker i have heard like all different builds for this champion some people have said avoid rift maker at all costs but in theory it's the one that should do well because again rift maker is the one that gains stats and all that stuff the longer combat goes but that's what gwen wants gwen as we've said previously she's not a burst champ she is a i'm going to do more damage i'm going to start scaling more the longer our combat fight goes on and that's what that item does so in the hands of a good player, I'd imagine that is definitely the best item on her, but we'll see. Alright, so this wave, if you count the minions, again, very simple how to know which way the wave is going, but Gwen, I guess, doesn't want it to. Uh, if you count how many red minions compared to blue, that is a very clear way of knowing which way the wave is going to push, etc. Um, and it is still pushing into red, but Gwen is actively killing the minions and not letting them just, like, slowly die. So it's still going to push this side, but not as fast. Uh, blue team gets the dragon though, first dragon of the game, which is always nice. I don't even know if that was Kaiser might have been doing it alone. I've got no idea. I didn't look at the minimap. I just saw Zach was nowhere near it. Uh, maybe he eed over to the Krugs after the dragon. It's possible. All right, so Yorick is two levels behind now in a 1v1 situation in top. Obviously, there has been a little bit of jungle interference, but Diana was first. Um, so, you know, you'd think that would have given Yorick, you know, a strong early game, but it hasn't. And also worth you know knowing, like Gwen may not necessarily be a lane champion, but she's better than she was. Yorick, people will say he's not a lane champion either. He's okay in lane phase. You know, yes, I'd say he's more item dependent. You could say gank by Twisted Fate, arguable gank here. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Uh, ulti by Gwen, blocking the E from Diana. There's also Jace though, which they should have seen. So let's see what happens here. Using another ulti. Twist of Fate, you, well, big damage coming in. Gwen's going to return, continuing the fight. Twist of Fate also helping out a little bit here or there. Yorick going to try and escape. Gwen's trying to kill the Yorick thingy-majig. Twist of Fate gets a double kill or get, gets another kill, and they will end up in a 3v2 situation in a 2-4-0 kills. That's crazy. So, you know, as we mentioned, and I think Yorick is dead, Flash and Gwen with the scissors will get the kill. Maiden isn't going to do enough, and there we go. Wow. So... I will say, you know, for what is supposed to be a non-burst champion, give Gwen a few seconds in combat. She then does kind of burst. You know, that's the thing. I think her burst is just different. She doesn't instantly burst. It's not like an, a Tibbers and Annie combo is like, boom, from zero to 100 straight away. 
Gwen takes a few seconds. It, she needs to use a couple of the ultis, and then like she will get like her scissor stacks with then also the E, and then bam, she can just absolutely annihilate. And I, I think Diana, she may have had flash at the time. I think she may have got surprised by like how quickly Gwen managed just to like boom, you're dead. And to be honest, so was I. So this is good to see. So yeah, the item that the Gwen's gone for is Riftmaker. Which again, for each second, damaging an enemy champion, deal 2% bonus damage. Maximum of 10% bonus damage. And it will do, the bonus damage is dealt as true damage when you get to that 10%. So this is the point. Gwen wants to be in combat for seconds. It's not about that instant burst. It's not about that tiny little trade. Gwen wants to be in a fight for 5 to 10 seconds. So she'll get the Riftmaker stacks. That's what this champion's strength is. So it's cool. Again, this is making me more like, oh, this champion seems good. And I, again, as I said, I want her to be good. I like the design a lot. Twist of Fate, though, having good roam potential going down to bot lane. Um, you know, this bot lane, if you if you haven't been paying attention to the scoreboard, blue team bot lane is actually losing. Um, the, the Severe is out farming and also 101 versus 01. So, you know, red team bot lane is currently winning. Uh, obviously, Twisted Fate is beating the Jace. The Jace is 0-4 with, you know, more farm, but that's Twisted Fate. That's Twisted Fate in a nutshell. He roams. So he naturally, a lot of the time, Twisted Fate goes lower on farm to his opponent and usually can catch up later with his wave clear of Q. Gwen, however, this is obviously a clearly dominant performance. And once again, Twisted Fate with that roam. And you can see that that's the Gwen damage. It takes a few seconds, but then her damage still, you know, will get there. And boom, a nice dive on a Yorick. And he's dead. Uh, Diana, though, back in top lane. I, she shouldn't go for an engage here. She's three levels down. And honestly, she needs to be careful of not getting dove. She really needs to be careful. She's going aggressive. Maybe because she knew they were going to go for it. She does get one kill. And she's going to maybe get two. Nope, she gets another because Gwen's damage wrapped up. And that was a one for one. Bad death by Twisted Fate, I would say. He didn't respect the Diana. Because um, to be honest, you, you guys heard. I was even surprised that Diana went a bit aggressive. She may have gone aggressive because she knew she was eventually going to get do dove. So she was like, oh, I can maybe get a cheeky kill here. And that's what she did. But uh, yeah. And you know, worth also noting, I have heard people um, say, and maybe we'll do another challenge spectate in the next few days of Diana Jungle. I don't know what the hell's happened. Feel free to let me know in the comments. But I have just heard through the grapevine that people have said, if you're a jungler and you're currently not playing Diana Jungle, you're trolling. So I don't know what's happened, but apparently she's overpowered. <laughs> I've, I, again, I, I don't, I'm not obviously going to get everything in League. But yeah, apparently Diana is nuts right now. And yeah, the Nash's Tooth Rush and into just like whatever is really strong. Uh, again, don't know why, but that's just the thing. So builds, by the way, from Gwen, which is interesting. So what is it? an AP Duelist Champion? She is still buying plated steel caps. So it's not like, oh, dude, she's pretty fed. She's going to go Sork Boots or whatever. Nope, she's still respecting the fact that she's against a Yorick. Uh, meanwhile, he's getting dove again or nearly killed again. Nice W to block them, but I don't think he's alive. He's already burnt Flash. Gwen's got mobility with another Zack jump and boom, down he goes. So yeah, the Yorick, I don't know if he's had much vision this game because like he's being ganked left, right and side. Now, some people will say this isn't the best game of Gwen to highlight because, you know, she is getting quite a lot of jungle help. But I think we can see the strength of the champion is there. Um, meanwhile, she's going for a big TP play. Uh, enemy team might be completely caught out here. So Kais is going to get one. You can see the damage of Gwen is high and just cleans up. She only got one kill, but that was actually pretty nice. Good TP. And uh, this has been, you know, yeah, a bit of a jungle difference game, I would say. But also definitely a top lane difference game. This, this Gwen is playing good. Uh, she's found the Jace. Is she going to do anything to him? He ees away. I don't know if she's going to manage to do anything. If you're also worth knowing, just so we can kind of say that the basics. Meanwhile, they're going to get another kill probably any second. Yep, Zach gets it. So she is maxing Q because there were rumors like, oh, maybe you max E. She is maxing Q, then the E. And also her rune setup for those that would want it is Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. And then she's Resolve, and that probably helps to the tankiness that this champion needs to survive lane. Bone Plating, Revitalize, and ab Ability Power, Ability Power, Armor. So Dino Engage, by the way. Oh, wow, that blocked Galio E. Wait, did that actually physically stop Galio Z from moving forward? It looked like it. Maybe it didn't, but it looked like it just stopped Galio Z in its tracks. That's weird. Maybe it did. I don't know. Hmm. 
Um, but yeah, 605 currently Gwen, 40 farm up a lane opponent. Going to return to lane probably after getting all of these whatever fruits they're called. I literally can't remember. Um, and will be relatively full health and near full mana. She's not even getting all of them. She's like, ah, screw that. I don't need all of them. And she's going to return up to top lane. So, yeah. So this game, you know, I know there will be some people will be like, oh, Gwen is ridiculously weak. I've seen the videos, blah, blah, blah. This game hopefully will make people realize that sometimes all it takes is a little buff or, you know, a Gwen got a decent amount of buff. If, if, you, if you actually type, like look of when Gwen got released on PBE to where she is now, she's actually had like three or four buffs. So she has had quite a lot of buffs. Um, maybe, and again, you have to also say the point, in the hands of really good players, champions also can be different. So this is a Grandmaster player, so maybe it just takes someone that's really good at the game to show you how the champion works. I will say, like, from the games that I played on Gwen, I don't see much gameplay difference between my Gwen and this. Like, I'm doing the same things. It's not like I'm missing out on a complete mechanic. The champion when I played it was just really weak. Uh, that you just couldn't fight people in the early game. You, uh, but I will say one thing, and I will concede, I don't think I went Resolve second. So I definitely went Conqueror, but I'm pretty sure I went Sorcery or something like that second, because I'm like, oh, she's an AP Duelist. So maybe that also is quite crucial to have that Resolve, that little bit of tankiness as well. So that is also worth mentioning, because you can look, look at her health bar and stuff. She has got a giant spell, but this doesn't look like a squishy champion right now, does it? Like, that big health bar, you know, that just doesn't give you the look of a squishy. Like, what looks like a squishy champion? That. Like, look at that. That looks squishy. You can just sometimes tell that a champion looks squishy. That looks squishy. That doesn't look that squishy. I know, it, like, some people say, oh, it's resistances or it's just health. But that sometimes it is just as simple as going, she actually looks kind of tanky. So a build, by the way, Riftmaker, then Nashers. Well, it was Riftmaker, then Plated, I think, then Nashers. She has a giant spell now. I have no idea what that's going into. I don't know if the game will last long enough for us to see. But what I will do is I will go on this player's profile um, and have a look, basically, of what they normally build. Because some people are like, oh, I want to know what their full build will be. So I'll try to find like a full build for this player and I'll let you guys know. Because uh, I think that could be quite useful. Um, so while she's just like obviously split pushing right now and obviously worth also mentioning if you like this video Please do throw a like on the video that does help out and if you're newish or whatever, please do subscribe um, That'll be great Jace trying to escape Gwen ulti coming through and Jace will go down godlike. Okay, so the player um, Let's see Do 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 Oh, that's what they're building. Okay. I'm not gonna spoil what they're building, but it makes sense but yeah, I, I will go through what they're at the end of the game. I'll go through like what their full build is of some of the games that they did manage to get to six items. We will see them complete the next item though. Zach with the double kill in mid lane and Gwen going to push in on the bot side. Enemy team obviously has just been beaten quite badly this game. You know, Jace is one and eight. Um, you know, do you feel a little bit for the red team bot lane? A little bit. They were winning lane. Uh, but now Kaisa, you can see, has overtaken roughly the severe. And that's through team strength. Uh, sometimes when your team is simply strong, you will catch up naturally. And that, I think, is what happened this game. Uh, but yeah, for a Jace, you know, I like the champion Jace. I just don't think he's really worth playing right now. Obviously, I got master with that champion about a season and a half ago. Uh, Galio, I don't know. That was kind of a troll ulti. I, I'm not really sure what that was about. Enemy team is looking for that engage, though. Kaiser with their ult gets away. Gwen going to engage on the Jace. Doesn't have full stacks, but will end up... Ooh, okay... Gwen getting a kill on Diana, returning onto the Sphere, and boom, gets another return kill on Diana. Helps kill the Severe, and that is, by the way, without the Zac, who is obviously incredibly fed. So they are just far enough ahead that they can just wreck face, basically. So Gwen might help to the inhib, or is just going to back away. Yep, is not feeling it, not much mana or whatever, and she's just going to leave. She might take blue. But uh, yeah, dominant performance. Um, so hopefully this does make it clear that Gwen, because you know I have seen people go, oh, I'm banning Gwen to stop my own team playing it. You might not need to do that anymore because of the buffs that she's had. Like clearly, like this is a grandmaster game. If she was literally terrible, she'd get wrecked. Uh, and yes, her win rate may not reflect her strength. It is worth knowing. She still has roughly a 40% win rate of me recording this video. Again, she is more of a mechanically inclined champion than the average. So yes, she was weak. She's stronger now. I think it's still quite a mechanically intense champion 
for a lot of people to play well. Um, I don't think she is what we would consider a low rating pick. You know, as I know some people don't like that, but there is sometimes a differential a differentiation between low and high rating. And I think Gwen is a high rating pick. She's like a Riven, you know, like Riven is known to be a more high rating duelist. Enemy team surrender. And by the way, yeah, it was Demonic Embrace. So that's the item she did purchase was Demonic Embrace with the Giant's Belt. And yeah, just to kind of go through, what would she build after this? So the build does vary. It's not the same cookie cutter build every single game. But she does buy a Zonya some games. She will buy a Bramble Vest in some games. She was against an Aatrox and she bought a Bramble Vest. So it, you can be kind of versatile in it. She's upgraded to a Thorn Mail a couple of times. Um, what else? She's got... Yeah, Bramble seems to be quite common on Gwen. Uh, occasionally, obviously, she's buying Morella Nomicon. Um, but yeah, the, the, the two kind of core items by the looks of it is Riftmaker and Nash's Tooth. Those seem to be in every single build and Demonic. Like Demonic is making, a, a, you know, in most games, she's also getting Demonic. So those three items seem to be the key items on the champion. And then Boots, some de sometimes she's going Plated, some sometimes she's going Mercury Treads. But she is never, and I'm looking through her history here, she is never going Sork. It's always a defensive boot. So that also says quite a lot too um she doesn't need it i guess but that's gonna be it if you guys enjoyed this video highlighting gwen maybe she's overpowered now who really knows um i wouldn't be surprised if we'll see a nerf of this champion in maybe the next maybe not next patch but maybe the patch after when more people discover how to play the champion but yeah throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe please do subscribe by the way if you are new and comment what do you think of gwen do you like her dislike her do you think she's strong weak have you played her have you played against her let me know and i'll see you guys next time goodbye